All right. So now we're going to do another forecasting technique in Excel. As we've done the previous two, um, we've done the naive forecast and the cumulative mean. Now we're going to do a moving average. So a moving average, basically, if you first have to pick how many periods long that moving average will be. In this case, I'm going to pick three periods, but depending on your requirements, a longer uh, moving average would be uh, good as well. So we're going to do a moving average with three periods. So that means we can only start in April, which is period four, because we need to have the three prior periods um, first in order to create our moving average. So the moving average, all it is, we're going to type in a formula, an averaging formula. We're going to average the cells of January, February, and March. And I'm not going to do anything else except I'm going to make sure our results are rounded by applying this rounding formula and making sure it rounds properly. If you don't use this formula, then the actual result, even though you show no decimals, it may be very different and we're really not forecasting in full units. I'm going to hit Enter. And there it is. So that's a moving average for the first three periods. All I need to do to carry this forward is to copy this cell, and I'm going to show you a different technique on how we can move this forward. I'm going to hit, so I hit the Control C key combination at the same time. You hold down Control and then you hit C, and that basically does the same thing as copy. And then I'm going to put my hand on the shift key, keep the shift key held down. I'm going to move my cursor down, so just the down arrow, until we'll reach the end of our forecasting column. And then I'm going to release the shift key. I'm going to hit Control V, and that pasted the same formula in these cells. And just to visually check, and can hit F2, and that shows me which formula I'm using. And then in that blue box, it shows exactly which um, cells you are applying the formula to, in this case, the average. And I can move down a couple more, and we can see that the way we applied this formula, it moved our average down every period for every new forecast. It did exactly what we intended to do. Now just to do a quick check, I'm going to chart this. I'm going to create a line chart. And we see here our forecast is doing pretty, pretty well. I mean, it's moving up and down. Uh, it's not as stable as the cumulative mean, but it is a pretty good forecast, it seems, for this type of data. It's stationary data. It doesn't have a consistent trend or any real seasonality. Okay, so this was the moving average.